So this is why you make sure your cakes are always completely extinguished. Came out to this this morning. Look at this shit, man. Two of them somehow, as much as I doused this shit with water last night, two of them somehow maintained a, a spark or an ember in there, even though I doused everything and looked at it with a flashlight in the dark. You know, turned off the light, looked for hot spots, shined the light on everything. This motherfucker looked like a UFO touchdown right here, man. Look at that shit. So that, my advice, guys, douse every single piece in uh, water. Especially if you're going to wait till uh, clean it up the more or throw that shit in the trash. You know what I mean? Actually, I'm kind of glad I, I didn't chuck it in the trash because I don't know if uh lit my trash can on fire or what's up. But, uh, yeah, that's it. So, uh, stand by. Go out front and bump my gums, you guys, for a little bit. What's going on, guys? Um, so, you see my little uh, scorch mark back there because I didn't wet the cakes down enough, man. Left them out there last night after I soaked them down because it was just I, just too much shit to clear up in the dark. I've been cleaning up all morning. I walked out there and seen that. I couldn't believe it, man. So, you know, make sure, even if it looks like it's out, dump. I, I would suggest dumping at least a bucket of water on every single cake. If you're going to leave them out there, you know, or, or, or definitely before you throw them in the trash. You don't want to catch, you know, a trash can on fire by your house or whatever, you know. Um, start a dumpster fire. But I've been just cleaning shit up all morning. I'm pretty much done now, man. But, uh... Man, the two fuse show last night went fucking fantastic. Very tiny little minor bump in the road. I had one um, six shot, but and, and I gotta tell you though, I had one. First of all, I had one six shot rack that didn't that didn't go, but I caught it while the show was going and I lit it. Just jumped, had to jump in the fire, you know what I'm saying? But it was all good because it was on the end where I could easily access it without any danger of getting hit by anything. Um, so that 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 was awesome, but for as much crazy, I used all type of fuse in that show. I had shit going, I had shit going everywhere, man. I had so much fuse coming off of this line coming off. I had two main lines, and like I had I had perfect fuse coming off. I had quick fuse coming off. Shout out to John Walters for his um heads up, man. I, and I don't even know why the fuck I didn't think, but I had a twenty shot rack at the end, which functioned flawlessly, by the way, quick fused, and um and, and I, I showed it in my in my board video, my my two fuse uh you know, that two fuse show video I did, he's like, I'd cover that, um, that quick fuse up. And I, I, you know, I didn't even think of it, man. Cause quick fuse, if you guys don't know, is basically just, just black powder, you know, it's, it's, it's comp wrapped in fucking, uh, just a really thin paper. You know, it's, it's not lacquered like, uh, like safety fuse. Safety fuse will damn near burn underwater. I'm pretty sure. And, uh, this shit, <laughs> It just it just goes up at the drop of the hat. I was like, man, I I was so glad he posted that because I didn't even think of that. You know what I mean? I did not even think of that. So I I covered it up with some aluminum foil and um it, it shot it shot perfect, man. Every single shell went. So thank you for that, John. Um other than that, show went great. I didn't get the whole show on video. I got probably about half it. The show did not last as long as I thought. It probably came in about the nine minute mark as opposed to the ten minute mark like I thought, but I don't care. It, it just it it was it went wild and everybody watching it absolutely loved it. So um, I, I did get about four and a half minutes of it on video, though, you know, because I was, I had to pause and run and do this, pause, grab a beer, pause and go, you know, make sure everything's uh, straight with the, with the with the show. So, um, you know, like I said, I didn't get the whole thing, but I got I got quite a bit of it. And the finale, I got most of the finale. I think I had to pause one time during the finale, but I believe it starts at about the 4:30 mark. I'll post that in a whole separate video. So if you just want to watch that, you don't got to watch me stand out here running my mouth. A um, couple changes I'm going to make for next year. I know I said I was going to do it this year, but I am definitely going to get an earlier start on these boards, man. Because this was two back-to-back, -back, very, very long 12-hour days. You know, hauling shit out of the basement, gluing it down to the board, fusing it up, trying to move, you know, the fucking heavy-ass board off my little workbench I, I got, you know, to the floor. And then put another board up and do it all over again, move shit over to my buddy's house, um... It was really, uh, it was really a couple, couple very long days, and I waited till right before the fourth to do it, man. Um, kicking around the idea of next year instead of doing two shows, just having all the people from my buddy's block party come over here because at his house, the way we had to do the shows, I still do them in boards, I still fuse up boards, but you know we can only light. We got to keep the boards separate. We got to keep them like in his yard, put them out on the street, light them. Um, all the racks I have to keep separate. So, so his his doing his show. You know, I'm steady moving. You know, I'm lighting this board, lighting that board. You know, I have a bunch of single pieces lighting those because I can't you know fuse it exactly the way I want because the boards do have to be separate. So we got to take them from the from his house to the street because there's just not enough room to lay out a big ass long show. And uh, you know, and then we got to bring the boards up, take more out, 
So, you know, you're really staying busy. I did with, with the two few show, I didn't have to do that. I just lit it and I let it go, you know, and was able to pretty much stand back and enjoy it. So next year we're thinking about, because his, his, he lives very close to me, just having people, you know, doing the party over there and coming over here for the fireworks. That way I can lay out a fucking crazy ass mega 15, 20 minute, just monster banger show. Um, so, so we might actually do that, but um, I'm for sure going to get an earlier start on my boards next year. I want to have them, you know, I want to start probably the middle of May, just do like one board a week, you know, take my time and just store that shit in my garage. And then uh, all I got to do, when, you know, when, when, when the time comes around, put them bad boys out back and, uh, you know, fuse them up, man. So I think that's, I'm trying to think, man, I'm trying to, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Um, I know as soon as I shut this video off, there's going to be like 10 more things I wanted to add, but I forgot. So, so that's it, man. I hope you guys was all safe, man. I hope everybody still got all their digits and, you know, nobody suffered any injuries. Um, to my, to my pyro brothers out, out in the commie states, I hope none of you had to, had any run-ins with the law who didn't have shit else better to do than fuck with people trying to celebrate their, you know, our independence, our freedom. Um. I'm definitely going to, you know, I'll have videos posted up here and there, guys. You know me. I'm always posting some shit. And I I shop year-round, man. So I'm going to always be posting that stuff up, getting into, you know, pyro this, pyro that, man. So that's all I got, you guys. I'm going to catch you guys really soon. Everybody be safe. Peace.